In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to write scripts for your Doodly videos. I'll share a few of my favorite tips and a format that I like to use. The first step is to brainstorm the video content. You need to know what you're going to be writing about. So think about your customers and pick a particular type. For example, if you're a realtor, you might have several types of customers. You might have first time home buyers, move up buyers, people who are relocating, investors, sellers, and so on. Now, once you have a type of customer, you want to think about what your intentions are for the video. So what do you want your viewers to do when the video ends? Do you want them to schedule an appointment to get a free market analysis? Or maybe you want them to fill out a form so they can get pre-qualified for a loan. Whatever it is, you're going to use that as your call to action at the end of the video. But I want you to think about that before you even get started writing the video, okay? Because everything that you write should be leading up to that call to action at the end. So if you know that going up front, you know that, hey, I want them to fill out this form and get pre-qualified for a loan. Well, then that's going to guide you as to what your video is going to be about, right? So think about a problem that these customers have related to that. Okay, maybe they they don't have a good credit history or maybe they they're overwhelmed by the thought of all kinds of paperwork to fill out. So that's going to guide you. Those are key points, key frustration, pain points that they have. And you can address that in your video. So keep those in mind. Keep in mind the emotions that they have when they're going through these things. Like I said, they could be overwhelmed. They could be scared because of their credit history is so bad. They may not know who to turn to. And that's great. The more you highlight these problems and how you can help them, the better. So then think about your solution. How does your product or service solve the problem? You'll use your script to illustrate the problems and the frustrations, as well as to explain some of the benefits that they can expect when they use you, your product or your service. For instance, instead of a heavy emphasis on the features of your product or service, try to tie those features into the benefits that the person's going to get when they use you or purchase this product. So let's say you have, you know, bells and whistles is what they call, you know, features, bells and whistles. So instead of a heavy emphasis on, oh, our bell is made out of brass and it's got this really high tech clanger. You might want to say, our brass bell has a soothing tone so you can feel more relaxed and it won't disturb your neighbors. So it's talking about the benefits of the bell and these benefits are what your viewer is going to connect to on an emotional level. So think about that as you're developing your script. Now for a whiteboard video, you're going to want to keep it brief and focused. Today's viewers simply have short attention spans. Use characters and props to keep the video engaging and then bullet points to reinforce key concepts. Keep in mind that you're probably not gonna solve every possible problem your customers have in a one to two minute whiteboard video. So pick one, maybe two, and just nail it. And then tackle another one in your next video. So you'll have a series of videos that really address a pain point of your customers and help them to solve that problem. So now you have this concept in mind, so we need to get it onto paper. And I wanna show you one of my favorite tools for doing this. So it's just a basic table. You can make it in Microsoft Word, Google Docs, whatever word processor you use, or even just a piece of paper, you know, draw a line down the center of the paper and split it into two columns, one for video and the other for audio. So on the video side, you're just gonna type out descriptions for each scene. I like to use separate rows for each scene. So in this example, it would be three scenes. You know, these are just for your own purposes. So type it out however, you, whatever makes sense for you. And then over on the audio side, you'll want to be a little bit more formal because, you know, you're going to send this off to somebody to read for you as the voiceover, or you're going to use it yourself to read for the narration track of your video. So you're going to want, you know, complete sentences and so on and so forth. Now I find this format is super helpful because it's simple. And you can go scene by scene, you know, like I have these different rows, you know, one row for each scene. It helps you to get ideas for the graphics that you want. You know, as your as an idea pops up, you just write it down over on the video section. You know, you may cross that out later, but it's a great place to just capture those ideas that you have. 
And then once you have it fine tuned, it's great for sharing with the other stakeholders involved in producing this video before you even start creating it in Doodly. So you might have a partner or a coworker that is involved in this. So you might say, hey, can you take a look over at my script here and see what you think, if you have any ideas you'd like me to include. And then that way they can give you their input before you spend a lot of time creating the video. And then once finalized or approved, it serves as your video's blueprint. So you can fire up Doodly, start recording your voiceover, start gathering props, and refer to this document as you go. Another great way to create a script is to start with a template. Now at its most basic, you're gonna want an introduction with a problem, a couple of key points and benefits, and a call to action. That's really all there is to it. And that's oftentimes enough to get you started. But if you need more help than that, Doodly's developers have a neat program called Automatic Script that you might want to check out. It has a bunch of templates inside of it for a variety of different marketing purposes, including video scripts. It'll walk you through the different elements that you can then customize to best meet your needs. No matter how you approach it, writing scripts gets easier with practice. Start with a topic that you know well, and you may be surprised at how nicely it turns out. I hope this helps you start writing your own scripts.